All right, fishy folks, happy water change Wednesday, and I am doing two manual water changes. I'm going to Quebec City, Canada tomorrow for work for three days. So my goldfish tank and my L, what are they, L144 Blue Eyed Lemon Pleco tank tends to get cloudy, and uh, I have to adjust the water change. Right now I have uh, not enough water manually i mean automatically going to it to change so i'm doing some manual water changes on this water change wednesday uh essentially in the 90 i'm sorry the 75 gallon i have uh just a siphon i created a siphon and i let it drain i'm going to drain it about halfway then i'm going to fill it up same thing up here in the 20 gallon drained it manually gonna fill it up no big deal right what else we're gonna do on this water change wednesday we gotta feed some fishies i have some ocean nutrition blood worms here i'm gonna drop a cube in there this is kind of hard to do one-handed gonna drop a cube in there drop a cube in there shall we drop a cube in han and leia and chewy's tank i mean han leia and jabba's tank who's gonna see solo on friday i am solo a star wars story that's right buddy it's your story solo's tearing apart the blood worms Ocean Nutrition Bloodworms. I used to be a Hakari Bloodworm guy. Uh, Hakari Frozen Bloodworms. And then uh, I tried these Ocean Nutrition Bloodworms. I don't... I think Solo just ate that whole cube by himself. You piggy. I don't see a difference. Um, some people say Hakaris are cleaner. I haven't seen any issues with Ocean Nutrition. And this is probably my 10th bag or 10th uh pack you know it's a little blister pack like this um also big sale going on at michael's fish room buy any guppies up to four pair of guppies and shipping is only five dollars that's a 15 dollar discount for shipping um just place your order use coupon code uh five dollar shipping so dollar sign the number five and a space and shipping and you will get $5 shipping. Uh, the sale goes until Saturday, sorry, Friday at midnight. And the reason why I have it set up like that is, I probably need to put a whole cube in here. There's only three females. Um, the reason why I have it set up like that is, I'm going to Japan in a little more than a week, and I can't ship the Monday I leave for Japan because I'm getting picked up for the airport at like 3.30 in the morning or four o'clock in the morning. Um, and so I can't really ship that day. So the last day for shipping is this Monday or Tuesday coming up. Actually, this Tuesday, because Monday is Memorial Day. So if you want some fishies and you want to save on shipping, place your order now, folks. Place your order now. Oh, we got Fry. Happy Fry Fry Wednesday. Fry in the uh, red, white, and blue American guppy tank. There isn't a whole lot of cover in there either. I'm surprised any of those guys survived. Uh, where else? We want these guys to have some blood worms. And these guys. Blood worms. Everybody loves blood worms. But I don't have enough squares for every tank. And some tanks don't really need a whole square. So, if I remember, I will take a square out and melt it and put it in with like some of my uh my bettas i've sold a bunch of bettas already um i will put it whoa it's hard to do one-handed i know this camera angle sucks but what are you gonna do folks this is real life no real editing here you know no telling you i have a ginormous fish tank when it's really much smaller none of that Let's see. Oh, look at that. That's from this morning. We're going to have to check and take that out, shall we? All right, I got three cubes left. I definitely want to give some to my bettas. I got to clean some food, leftover food in the little, see the little bristlenose plecos in that tank? What else? I got these cubes. I got to do something with them. I'm going to put another one in this tank. These are the lemon green cobras. Look how many fryer in there. It's a 10 gallon tank. There's about 100 fish in there. But Mike, you can't do that. Watch me. All right, stand by. All right, fishy folks. I don't know, we drained about, probably about 
50 gallons out of the 75 it was down about here now we're filling it up we got the king the t king tiger the l333 king tiger pleco in here probably hiding somewhere he usually hides underneath this wood but i moved it to clean underneath it i also did a little bit of cleaning in here i want to get all the mum but got some of it um so we're going to fill uh, that tank and we're going to fill that tank. I have two more water lines I could add pretty easily. I'm probably going to add those tonight um, or not. I don't know. And uh, go from there. So we got to feed some more food. The bloodworms are enough. We're going to feed the, uh, the black soldier fly larvae crisps from North Finn. Uh, Hannah and Leia really like them. So we're going to drop some in there and see if I can get Leia some food because Hannah's a freaking maniac he destroyed that that bloodworm cube himself pretty much so let's see if leia gets some yeah she's eating it we're gonna put some uh put some in the goldfish tank as well i know the wonderful camera angle and then uh what else we're we gonna feed let's see look at all my food here we got the ocean nutrition breeder line we have the ocean nutrition brine shrimp flakes secret formula north Fin community now the ocean nutrition brine shrimp plus i tell you what one of my favorite flake foods right now is this ocean nutrition discus flake it's fantastic um we got the new cobalt ultra pellet tropical also we've got the bug bites fry starter grow what am i gonna feed I need something, what's, what do we got? Five to eight millimeter? Good. Oh, that was a pain in the butt to get out of that bag. But it's just a breeder bag. I don't know. Let me concentrate on my water changes here, folks, because I'm not used to these manual water changes, and I have been known to spill gallons of water on the floor. Guys, do me a favor. Check out michaelsfishroom.com. We got that sale going on, like I said earlier. Uh, use promo code $5 shipping for... Uh, to pay only five dollars in shipping up to four pair of guppies and uh, if you want more email me and I'll see if I can't fit it in the box but probably not oh there's the L133 King Tiger Pleco let's let's get a good shot of him hey buddy how you doing yeah look at him just chilling and um, I was talking with uh, NY Gold, down for NY Gold, and, and I think we both think now that Chunky Gold Medina is a chick. Because uh, some of the other, the both the Calicos were beating on her, and uh, we think uh, they were trying to breed. So I don't know the story about goldfish breeding. I know they beat each other up, and the eggs pop out, and then the boy makes a mess, and yada, 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 you have babies. So I think that's how it works, at least. Um, all right, stand by. I'm going to fill this tank up. And then go to the pleco tank so stand by all right fishy folks this is what happens when you don't pay attention i made a mistake i went to drop all that food into the red tuxedo tank because there's a ton of guppy and guppy fry in there and i dumped it into this uh steel nebula female tank now they'll eat it and i'm not overly concerned because i have an auto water change system but if this was your tank and you had to change water manually, you probably would have to change water tomorrow. I'm not concerned, but that's what happens when you try to do two things at once. Um, what I did was I fed, while uh, I was finishing that up, I fed some of the Ocean Nutrition Breeder line. This is meant for, uh, for hatcheries and stuff, and uh, it's something they asked me to try out, so that's what I'm trying out. All right, I gotta move the hose. Should we try to do it one-handed? I don't think it's going to work, to be honest with you. But we're going to try it. So we got the clip. Oh, maybe it will. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. We did it. All right. You guys want to see what snail eggs look like? That's snot or snail eggs. Mmm, delicious. It's the best way to describe it, right, folks? I'm feeling a little cranky. So, yeah, it's snot. All right. Filling up the L144 Pleco Tank. Um, yeah, so I fed some of that, the breeder line, to some of my guppy tanks. I'm probably going to feed some of this uh, New Life Spectrum Grow to uh, 
the fry tank next to the uh, Pleco tank with the my second batch of or my second tank of black panda fry. Somebody asked me today online, do the black pandas breed true? They've bred pretty much 100% true for me. A, an occasional cull out of 100, one or two. I know Kyle said, he emailed me and said he got some yellow fry. I, I haven't seen that. They've always turned black after they grew up a little bit. So if you want to know, do my black panda fry breed true? I would say yes. Truer than a lot. So I got to clean this tank. There's a, um, a Sarah catfish chip in there and there's something else that's got fuzz on i gotta take out there's three albino tiny albino bristle nose in here gotta take that out look look i stopped watching this tank and it it's about to overflow so uh what do we got going on up here yeah the overflow there we go so this tank will be cloudy for a while but it'll settle down a couple hours all right let's shut this off stand by shutting it off uh, all right, fishy folks. I think that's it for my water change Wednesday ramblings. Um, check out the website. Shoot me an email. Do what you want to do. Have a great day. I'll see you guys Friday. I'm going to try to do some fish store tours from Canada. At least one. If I have time, I should have time. And uh, maybe we'll do an extra one and then we'll do something uh, for the weekend. So have a good day, fishy folks. Peace.